Guys, today we're gonna level the shipping container here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Stick around to the end and we're gonna take you inside. Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Today we are burdened with the task of leveling the shipping container. Now, if you tuned into a past video where we had this shipping container delivered out here, you'll notice it's not in the same spot. So come along today as we show you how I level and get the shipping container ready to start storing items for the mega shop. We're also going to be cleaning out all the stuff that we don't use day to day in the tiny shop that's beside the house and putting it up here in the shipping container as well as potentially storing some vehicles in here. So come along, we'll take a look inside the shipping container and we'll show you guys how I level up the shipping container here on the property. All right? Ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. All right, guys, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. If this is your first time or your 50th time here, please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. This is a first generation farm project here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. And this is a shipping container. So this is a 40 foot shipping container, 40 feet long, and it's the high top. So you can see caution high, nine foot six inches. I wanted the extra height for storage. So this is going to be our storage building for all the materials for the mega shop, which is gonna go right back here where you see that dirt. And this is also going to serve as a storage area for chainsaws and stuff like that because the sawmill is going to go right here and I've got trusses. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, jump in and subscribe because these trusses are what's going to build a 25 foot shed off the side of this. So we'll have a sawmill shop or a sawmill shed. Now, We'll open this guy up. This uh, critter right here weighs 8,550 pounds, okay? Its manufacture date is 1998. It says it's made in the USA, which is pretty cool. So maybe it's not made of Chinesium, I don't know. Uh, you'll see there's a few scuffs, a few dents, nothing major. Um, I left enough room between the fence right here where I could store some stuff on this side of the building also, and I could get around it on all sides. Uh, I do actually, it wouldn't hurt me to move the building just a little bit that way. I measured up everything and we are within two inches of on each side of the fence right here. So a uh, little bit of work to do today. I'm gonna show you a pretty cool way that I have uh, to do this. This is my idea. I've uh, watched many, many YouTube videos and there aren't many out there. So what I really suggest is if you order a shipping container like this, I paid, I think 5,000 $5,700 or something like that for this critter. If you order a shipping container like this, pay the extra money and have the guy set it for you. In other words, know where you want it and have him set it. The reason we didn't do that is because I didn't know exactly where I wanted it and I still might be moving this critter in case it overcrowds the mega shop, which is gonna be right here. They should line up just perfectly, but we'll see. So let's get busy. I'll show you some of the tools we're gonna use to get this critter leveled. And you can see in the back of the truck here, I've got a water project in the works. I've got some concrete back here cause I got a little concrete project in the works. Uh, I got some blocks. These blocks are what we're gonna level the building on. And I've got some big old farm jacks from Northern Tool. So let's get all the tools out, get busy. So what do you need to know about a shipping container? What you need to know is all of the weight bearing members of a shipping container are on the corners. That is weight bearing, that corner is weight bearing, and the other two corners are weight bearing. This I-beam that runs the length of the shipping container supports the weight. It does not need to be supported. You don't have to put any supports in the center or any on the top. There's a beam across the top, there's a beam right down here. The walls are weak, so if you're considering burying one of these. Think again, because it's super, super dangerous. These walls cannot support any type of uh, movement inward or outward. In other words, it will collapse on itself if you bury it. You run a very high risk of it collapsing. The idea here is to take these two farm jacks and jack it up and get it level and set it on four of these six inch cap blocks 
on each corner. That's the idea here. Now we might end up needing six in a low spot. We might end up needing only two in a high spot. I would say at the very least we'll need three. The problem we have to run into, and we may run into this with this building, is that when you set the building down on these corners, this full 8,550 pounds is going to grind into that cap block, which oftentimes will split cap blocks. So I have extras. In other words, I bought 26 cap blocks. I probably will only need about 15 to 20 of them, but I bought extras in case of a boo-boo. Now, I've got a piece of white oak right here that we pulled off the sawmill. We're gonna cut this up and I'll show you how we put it up underneath the jack to help support the jack as we raise this thing up. We really only need one jack per side, but I bought two jacks from Northern Tool just in case we need to put both of them up underneath there. So without further ado, we're gonna unbox these jacks and they're called farm jacks. You'll get a better look at them. We're gonna start jacking this thing up. So this again is a strong way, uh, adjustable top clevis position, blah, 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 <laughs> farm jack. Um, this was purchased at Northern Tool. We'll get rid of some of these boxes here. Um, pretty well packaged. Um, I've never, <laughs> believe it or not, I've never used one of these farm jacks, so there might be a little bit of a learning curve. I very seriously doubt it. Pretty darn simple um, little jack system. So this part of the jack will go up underneath the building. So it's gonna sit just like that. And the farm jack has a handle, comes down, and all we do is just crank it up. Now, I bought two farm jacks. I bought one 40 inch and one 60 inch. Why'd I do that? Well never know if I'm gonna need a 40 inch or a 60 inch so I thought I might as well have the two different kinds they're both this is a high lift uh, brand and the other one is a strong way brand we'll go ahead and get both these jacks in position now you can see the platform that the jack sits on you can buy a platform for it it costs like 40 bucks but I'm just gonna take this wood I'm gonna cut two sections that are big enough to hold this jack up. And this is white oak, so it shouldn't bust, but if it does, we'll know in just a minute. First thing I need to do is make sure, yep, I can fit it under there. I needed to make sure of that. So we need a platform, a good platform. I've got the steel MS-140C electric chainsaw. <laughs> Whew, heavy, thing weighs about 30 pounds. I think we better cut three just in case. Remember, a little bitty chainsaw will hurt you quicker than a big one. Be smart. Yeah, baby. Oh, that thing's heavy. Ooh, wow. So I'm not real concerned uh, about the ground right here. This will settle a little bit. We just want to get down where we got a good clean spot and try to level this out as best we possibly can for our block to go right, right there. Macaroni, it's heavy. 
All right, it's time to let her down. Let's see what she does here. Both of these have a release on them. Oh, you raise up ever so slightly uh, and release. Should go down. Lower the other one too. There we go. All right. Operation should be exactly reverse of what we just did. We'll do both at the same time. There we go. Well, that jacks down. And that jacks down. Wow. That was easier than I thought. Now, is it level? <laughs> That's the question. And the answer is no. <laughs> All right, we gotta jack it up again. That is not level. Looks like I only need one jack. Oh, come on. Oh, baby. Oh, I can see something stupid happening right now. Oh, to get the leverage, I need to get. Oh, it's a lot of butt behind that. Oh, wow. Oh, right. Oh, it's taking some work. Oh, one more. Wow, here we go. Oh, good, good, googly, googly. Ooh, huh. man, that's like work. All right, one more block on there. One more. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, good gracious. This could be a two-man job. <laughs> Watch your fingers. If you're doing this. Severe crushing hazard right here. Down we go. Mm. Gotta watch these jacks will pop you in the chin in a heartbeat. Feel pretty confident that this side is pretty close to level. Now, this is why we use these six inch thick cap blocks because the entire weight of this container is on that cap block right there. So I'm actually using less blocks than I thought I would. Uh, we're gonna go over to the other side, to the front side and jack it up and hopefully we don't slip off. This has been more of a challenge than I thought it would be. I've got the last jack on here, I'm gonna let it down. 
and we broke one of the jacks. I'll show you. Ugh. Yeah. All right, I told you guys I'd show you. This is the result of movement, lateral movement. So in other words, the whole container tried to shift that way while it was jacked up. The board broke right here, you can see. When that board gave way, so did the jack. You can see how it bowed right there. Pretty lucky um, it didn't slip off the jack. These things happen. You don't do anything, you don't break anything. Oh my goodness, this was a job. Uh, only took me about an hour to get this done. I'll show you guys the results of what I did. So with a shipping container like this, you don't want it to be twisted. If it's twisted, when you get ready to open the doors, and we're gonna go inside this thing, so hang around. Um, when it's twisted or tweaked slightly, the doors will not open properly. And I'll show you how the doors open on one of these shipping containers. Uh, what I ended up doing was two blocks on the upper side and three blocks on the lower side. I wanted a slight slope towards the door. In other words, if it ever were to spring a leak, we don't want water to pool up in the back. We want water to roll out the front. So if there ever were a leak, it is slightly tilted that direction. So very cool, leveled it up nice. I think we'll be just right for installing the building. Let's let you guys take a look at the uh, blocks that I'm sitting it on. So I didn't need all the cap blocks that I bought, which is awesome. I can take some of those back or use them around the farm. So you can see triple stacked right here, uh, double stacked here, but actually used a uh, two inch cap block underneath this uh, six inch cap block. So that did good, didn't bust any blocks. Same thing down here. Now I've got to get back here with the uh, bucket on the tractor, clean all this up. Uh, what you want to do, You've got to get uh, these shipping containers up off the ground. And again, two cap blocks here. We already knew that this end was higher than that end down there. And then three right there. So looks great, level, straight, awesome. Let's open her up and show you guys how this works. Okay, when you open up a shipping container, you pretty much have to open both of these at the same time. Open our own up. May have moisture in here already, I don't know. Let's go in and check it out. Nice, very nice. Awesome. This is a huge amount of space. This is probably the cheapest way to get a large amount of space um, on your farm for storage. Dry storage, mouse proof, bug proof, everything proof storage. Will I put vents in the ceiling? Yes, there's a vent there and there is a vent right here. Let's open this thing all the way up so you guys can get some good light. I'll post oh, the guy's phone number I got this from. Really awesome dude. You can hear the echo in there, but look at all that space. This thing is huge, dude. Absolutely huge. Awesome, so glad I got the nine foot six. Now we've got a slight tilt that direction also, okay? So the water flows off that direction, not this direction, because if it flowed off, in this direction, the building would be right here and we get water inside the building. So we slightly tilted it. There's probably two inches of drop from that end to this end and probably an inch of drop on the other side. The camera kind of is a fish eye lens, so it doesn't show exactly how much drop. We can slap a level on here and show you guys ever so slightly how much drop we've got. So we are nearly perfectly level we just got slightly a slight amount of drop. So you can't, <laughs> uh, you can't get any better than that. that. That's awesome. Well, folks, now you know how to level a shipping container. <laughs> that's how I did it. I uh, don't anticipate any troubles with it whatsoever. We will be welding these trusses. I'll show you these trusses real quick. We'll be welding these 25 foot trusses to the top of that shipping container and we'll be bolting the shipping container down. In other words, I'll get some mobile home anchors and straps, we'll bolt it down, and we'll set all these things up and get our sawmill up here. Get to work, man, awesome. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. A little short video on how to level a shipping container in case you're deciding to get one for yourself. Beware, buyer beware. Don't buy one of these things and think you can bury it uh, as a bunker at your place. If you do, 
you really got to do some shoring up on the sides here. So this is all storage and it may just be temporary storage here on the Stony Ridge. We've got to dress this up, paint it, make it look pretty and make it fit the farm. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here in Sweden. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Shipping container leveled up. Let's say shipping container 17 more times. Shipping container. Shipping container. <sighs> shipping container. <laughs> Pow! We don't need no more crows on the hill farm, boy. Gonna get, get. Come on, man. Struggle bus. Try it again here. Oh, no. Here we go.